mheshimiwa wa speaker mheshimiwa wa speaker pale juu ya gari deputy president anazungumza akisema kuwa yule governor atoe pesa za floods wakati anajua 14 billion kutoka world bank ambayo ni a disaster management mheshimiwa speaker zilikuwa kwa ofisi yake na aliziramba mheshimiwa speaker alikuwa anajua 6 billion tuliweka hapa katika budget mheshimiwa speaker hakuzileta Mombasa mheshimiwa speaker yule ni kiongozi wa kugonganisha watu mheshimiwa speaker na ndio maana anajiuliza kwa miaka miwili kampuni 22 ni mheshimiwa speaker hata mimi moja sina miaka miaka miwili kampuni 22 na zote zina 5.7 billion ya mtoto ya mke ya nani kisha bado unaenda kuchukua mali ya ndugu yako unaacha mayatima unaacha mjane unamtesa kisha utatuambia nini katika taifa la Kenya mheshimiwa speaker mimi leo nasema ngatuliwe nasema kwa kutesa mjane gashagwa must go kwa kukula pesa za mahindi gashagwa must go kwa kutesa ukabila na Kenya Gashagwa must go. Asante sana mheshimiwa speaker. Ngogoyo. Thank you, thank you Mr. Speaker. <coughs> Mr. Speaker sir, I rise to oppose the motion by the Honorable Mwengi Mutuse, Member of Parliament for Kibwezi West. Mr. Speaker, I representing the people of Kajiado North. Mr. Speaker, I have gone through the motion and the issues that Wakili Mwengi Mutuse has raised. And Mr. Speaker, I pick on a number of issues that I would want to draw the attention of this house to. Number one, Mwengi Mutuse says that all we need to do is to just believe the things he has tabled here are true. We cannot believe what he says is true. We have to cross-examine. We have to look at them properly. Mr. Speaker, I have gone through the evidence that he has provided on some of the issues. And Mr. Speaker, having 21 companies, according to Mwengi Mutuse, is an intention for the Deputy President to launder money, and therefore he should be impeached. Mr. Speaker, he did not say money has been laundered, but it is an intention. And he says, it is enough for this house to just believe and therefore impeach. Mr. Speaker, I say no to that impeachment. Number two, Mwengi Mutuse, former chief of staff in Machakos County government and the current member of parliament, is giving hearsay that he has had. Mr. Speaker, he has said in his submission that they were officers who were coerced to write to change in the Ministry of Lands without tabling any evidence from the document that he has provided. Mr. Speaker, this House cannot go with hearsay. It is not possible for you to make a decision out of hearsay. Mr. Speaker, in his accusations, he says that the Deputy President 